Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to explore how to perform batch operation using callable statement. So in previous video tutorial, we have learned how to perform the same using prepare statement and this is the code which we had written in previous video tutorial. So and this is the project. So let's copy this project and I'll paste in the same workspace with some different name and I'm going to give batch updates using a callable statement. Callable statement. Let's click on OK. So now uh, I have created. Sorry. Let me close previous work, uh, previous project, and this is the project we have copied from our previous tutorial previous video so here this is a utility program uh, utility class which uh, I'm using to take connection from the database by calling get connection method it returns the connection which gets created in the static block right and whatever constants I want I, I'm using in this st static block those all constants or those all database information I have declared on the top of the class itself so it's pretty straightforward class now in client program uh, in earlier video tutorial we have performed batch operation using prepare statement so we have created one dynamic sql query with placeholder and we are preparing a batch and adding batch in prepare statement so we did three times and finally we have called execute uh, batch method and all batch has been sent in the in the single uh, single sort to the database right and that got executed so this is pretty straightforward which we have learned in previous video tutorial but uh, uh, this batch updates we had done using prepare statement now i want to use callable statement right so what i'll do here uh, same i want to perform using callable statements so here instead of prepared you will have to use callable statement and uh, how to create the callable statement so again we have a method is called prepare call which accepts sql parameter so this sql query will have to pass it over here and let's make this variable name as callable statement so let's make it cs okay now uh, as we know that callable statement basically used to call a store procedure so here this query is not gonna work so here uh, this updation you will have to do using uh, procedure right so we re need a store procedure so here i have a database so here already we had written one procedure in earlier project let's go and create another procedure so here i'm gonna create a procedure i would say update cell by id and here i'm gonna take two input parameters so input parameter in means input parameter and at first input parameter I'm going to take sal salary itself and second salary and this is double type so data type is double and second input parameter again I'm going to take that is nothing, nothing but the EMP ID employee ID and that is type of integer and within the store procedure here I'm going to write this update query so here instead of salary you will have to write sal which is coming from the user and here you will have to assign this employee id that's it it's pretty straightforward store procedure so let's apply this and a store procedure is created right now we can make use of this store procedure to perform batch update so here i'm going to call this store procedure by passing uh, to placeholder right and this placeholder must be substituted with the actual value now rest of the code would be same so here I am setting first parameter represents the salary in a store procedure right so we are setting salary 70,000 for employee whose ID is 1 so let's go to the database and check it out uh, content of like employee whose ID is 1 whose salary is currently 70,000 so make it 71,000 and after 
placing value for this two placeholder just I am adding this batch in the call level statement now employee whose ID is 2 2 is not there and we are trying to update his salary by 90,000 so this is gonna return you this will add in batch again but uh, for this this will be successful this is going to return 1 but for this this will return 0 now up now employee whose ID is 3 uh, I will update for them as well uh, whose salary is uh, 90,000 so let's make it 91,000 uh, sorry for salary uh, for employee whose uh, ID is 3 91,000 okay so now we are good to go so let's run this program and see what output we are getting when we print this array of integer then uh, uh, we were supposed to get 1 for five, first batch 0 for second and 1 for third so let's see what so 1 0 1 we are getting right so this is pretty much similar to uh, prepare statement but thing is that here updation will have to do using a store procedure not uh, not directly by the SQL query itself so I hope you enjoyed learning this video and what I will do this is store procedure what I had written over here that I am going to put in this DB script itself so that uh, if I check in this code on the github then along with this code a short post procedure will be there so thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed learning this video and if you like my video then please hit on the subscribe button and thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial